Hello everyone, in this Motion Live tutorial we're going to take a look at multi-character capture with OptiTrack. I'll introduce you to the device settings as well as the connections between OptiTrack and the Motion Live plugin. As you can see by the insane moves from our models Mickey and Shife, it's a lot of fun. First let's take a look at the OptiTrack website, where if you go down to the very bottom you'll be able to see a link to the OptiTrack YouTube channel, where you can find a bunch of tutorials on how to use Motive as well as the device settings. Most important when getting started is the Preparing Your Performer tutorial, which shows you how to calibrate before you begin your capture. The Reillusion website also contains a separate online manual for Motion Live. First go to the iClone homepage, then under Add-ons you'll find Plugins. On the following page, scroll down until you see the Motion Live plugin and click on it. Then go to Learn, Online Manual, and Body Mocap. In the help file you'll find device settings for Natural Point OptiTrack under Workflow for Body Mocap. Here you'll find all the info that you need to get your character calibrated and begin streaming the data into iClone. First you'll need to make sure that Motive is launched and set to Live in order to stream the live data and then perform the T-Pose calibration pose. You'll then need to follow the directions to view the data streaming pane which we'll talk about in just a minute. From there you can activate your OptiTrack gear profile in iClone and you're good to go. Let's take a look at those settings in Motive now. You can find the data streaming pane under the view menu item at the top. Let's show the advanced settings and ensure that they match the settings we briefly looked at earlier in the help file. Make sure the broadcast frame data is set to on and your local interface is set to the correct IP according to the machine you're capturing on. Skeletons also need to be set to on and their coordinates should also be set to local. Ensure that bone naming convention is also set to Motive and the up axis is set to Y. Scale needs to be set to 100 or else you'll see some pretty funky results when streaming the data to iClone. It's also very important that your command port, data port and multicast interface are correct as well. Back in iClone let's take a look at how to connect the gear to the plugin now. This process is almost identical to the other gears described in our other Motion Live tutorials. Open up the Motion Live plugin, select the OptiTrack gear profile and connect it by clicking on the hollow circle to the left. It will automatically detect the data streaming from the two actors in Motive. If we bring in the Motive window we can see our actors ready to start dancing from their starting blocks. Let's connect the female actor first by clicking on the warning triangle sign under the body column for dummy female and selecting the data streaming for actor 1. You can then preview and take some time to observe the magic of movement from our professional in-house dancer Shifei. However, you'll notice that the dummy is sort of floating in the air, a feat physically impossible for most humans. To make it more realistic, we can use the ground vertical offset to adjust the height of the dummy and place it back on the plane we'd like. This result can only be seen in either preview or record modes. If we want both dummies to be controlled by the data from the same actor, we can follow the same process to connect the male dummy and also choose actor 1 here and then preview. You'll notice that the male dummy is also floating off the ground, so we need to select that character in the character list and repeat the same process to adjust his height. If we want to have each dummy controlled individually by the data from two separate actors, then we can simply follow the same procedure and this time select Actor 2 for the male dummy character. We'll take another quick preview and you can once again see a display of the astonishing dancing talent that we have amongst our staff here at Reillusion. As with the other gear profiles, we also have the ability to set the position of our on-screen dummies to follow their initial position in iClone, or else snap to the world axis coordinate streaming from Motive. For ease of use, we've made sure that the world axis coordinates for both Motive and iClone are completely aligned to each other. Let's see what happens if I select the mocap data option for the world axis position of my female dummy character. You'll notice upon preview that she will snap to the exact same world axis position that our fabulous female actress Shifei is positioned at in the Motive window. You can see the red, green and blue X, Y and Z axes in both Motive and iClone are completely aligned, although our camera view in iClone is at about 45 degrees. Let's get rid of the stage for now and see what happens if we repeat the same process and assign the mocap data position setting to our male dummy character as well. As you can probably anticipate, that character will then also snap to the world axis position relative to where the actor is standing in Motive.
Finally, let's take a look at recording the data from two characters simultaneously. This time, we'll select the Record button and press Space when we're ready to begin recording the streaming data directly into an iClone motion track. We'll record a few more seconds, or a thousand frames of shenanigans in this run-through, and then open up the timeline for our dummy female character, where you'll find the raw recorded motion data as a clip in the character's motion track. As you can see, the same goes for the male dummy character as well. Once the data is recorded into motion clip format, there are all sorts of ways that you can further manipulate the mocap data, such as changing the speed, cutting the clip up and editing the time warp data, blending certain parts into others, and tons more. That's about all I want to cover in this tutorial, guys. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And remember to keep dancing.